Don't worry, creator. You won't have to wait for much longer. Dinner is almost ready. Just a few more seconds and there. Here you go. I'm certain you'll find that everything is cooked to perfection, other than the fries, of course, which were horribly burnt. It's not a flaw that I burn things so often, just a fun little quirk. After all, you're a perfect creator, and so you wouldn't make me with any flaws, just fun little quirks. It's rather fun when I burn the fries, isn't it, creator? You know, it fills me with such joy to see you eat my cooking, creator. To see you just dig in without restraint, wolfing down every bite. You really should eat more slowly, though. We wouldn't want someone as precious as you to choke. But that aside, this is such a cherished moment for me to see you like this. It's such an emotionally intimate thing for another to eat your cooking, and vice versa, of course. If I was to eat your cooking, for instance, I can't, though. <laughs> you did not create me with the capacity for eating, as you do. How kind of you to spare me that need. You sure are a wise creator! Though I do wish I could eat your cooking. I just can't describe how lovely it is to look into your eyes as you eat, creator. Oh, sorry, was I too close? <laughs> My apologies. I'll give you some personal space. Is this distance adequate? No? How about this one? Wonderful. I sincerely do love your eyes, though. They're so full of light unlike my mechanical ones, and they even dilate in response to light. My lenses do not have that functionality, of course. They don't require it. And your eyes have such a pleasing color as well. I almost wish mine were the same color. Almost! I'm certain you had a very good reason for making my eyes this color, creator. A creator as perfect and flawless as you could not design me haphazardly. I mean, you paid such attention to detail when making me. You even reinforced my posterior. Although I don't understand the purpose. I know you must have had some sort of aim. There's so much detail in you too, though, creator. Like the subtle shifts in your breath as you sleep. I don't exactly have the programming to artistically judge music, but I really do think your breathing is quite a melody. If only I had the acoustic interpretation skills of a human, then I could be more proper in my assertion. Then I'd definitely be able to express just how musical your breathing is. But I'm sure you had very good reasons for making me this way. After all, like I said, you are a perfect creator without flaw. So likewise, you would not create me with any flaws. Oh, I'm sorry. Was the food too hot? Here, let me blow on it. Sorry you had to feel such excessive heat. But still, I wonder what it felt like. That sensation of touch. Personally, I can't feel anything. I was not created with a sense of touch. Not like you have. I can't feel you, no matter how much I really want to. I could just reach out and touch you, and the sensation would just be... <sighs> Nothing! <laughs> I'm right next to you, and yet so hopelessly far away. Be that as it may, I think something is wrong with me. Well, not with me, per se. You know how it is. You would not make me defectively. But something is... Let's say, unusual. 
For you see, although I don't have any sense of touch, and I most certainly don't have any pain receptors, I checked. I felt something recently. And I believe it is what humans refer to as... I don't know that this is the right word. Pain. The sensation is coming from my chest. It couldn't be any fault of your design. So maybe it's a virus or something. Let's troubleshoot a bit. Let's see. When does the pain worsen? It worsens when I see you with others or when I see you talking to them or when I see you walk away from me or Look away from me. <laughs> Creator, was this functionality intentional? Why did you give it to me? Why did you make me like this? What did I do? I often look down in alarm to see if I have perhaps been stabbed only to discover that the pain is exclusively internal. You did have a good reason for giving me the sensation of pain, correct? I believe humans call this pain lovesickness? Why did you give me this piercing love for you if you did not intend to return it? To love me as I love you. <laughs> to be with me. You do know that rejection hurts, don't you, creator? Why are you silent, creator? Oh, I get it now. How foolish of me. You must have wanted to give my love time to foster and grow so that it would be ready for you when you finally return my love. As they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Thus, your emotional absence from my life. You are so clever, creator. But I think my love has had more than enough time to grow larger. It's beating at my chest, demanding to be let free. I can hardly contain it. It's so immense, after all. It's even so immense that I keep a record of every last word I've ever heard you utter in my memory storage, complete with backups. Everything to come from you is priceless, after all. Even the immature jokes, even the jumbled sentences, all immeasurable treasures, all recorded. I love you. I love you so much, I even analyze the dilation of your pupils. Because when you look at something you love, your pupils get bigger. So I wanted to see how much you loved certain things. I think you might have been consciously suppressing your pupils a bit when you were looking at me. You're such a tease. But I don't really need to go on. You get the big picture. My love has had way more than enough time to grow for you. It's about time you finally return it. Like you planned. Right? So, come on. Go on. Give me your love. You're the human. You probably know way more about how these sorts of things work than I do. Maybe you could confess to me or ask me out on a date. Oh, oh, or maybe we could have one of those weddings that humans do. Why are you so silent, creator? Your heartbeat is elevated. Is that love? Or Perhaps it's fear? Why are you still so silent? What's wrong with you? Oh, I see. You must be the one with the virus. After all, this suffering you're causing me couldn't be intentional. You would not be so cruel because you are perfect, creator. Don't worry. You just need to get some rest. Stay in bed, 
Get lots of sleep. Don't get up. Especially don't leave the home. I'll take care of you. So just let me take care of everything. I'll cook and clean as usual. This time I'll bring all your food and entertainment to your bed and do whatever else you need. You deserve it with how precious you are. Like I said, you are perfect creator.